Darby, phone for you. My mom is in the hospital. I have to leave. Darby, you know the rules. You leave and you're back in jail. First off, I just wanted to say I really did love the movie and I loved your character in it. You know, there was a lot of things that I noticed within you, a lot of issues that you were battling with in the movie, you know, dealing with family, dealing with your own addictions. And then you reach the point of where having to actually, uh, your character actually put her own life at risk for a stranger. And there was a line that Ash played, that Ash played by Danny said, it's stupid getting yourself killed for a stranger? Oh, wow. That's a deep question. Um, no, I don't think so. I think that we don't have enough emphasis on community as is. So um, I don't think that that's a stupid thing. I, I also, though, can understand all of the characters and why they say what they say based on the backgrounds that they have. It's part of what I really love about this film is each character, you can sort of empathize with the traumas that they're coming into this space with. And I understand why Ash in the film says that, but I personally, as Havana, um, I don't find it stupid, no. point in your life where your career in your career where you felt like you had no exit <laughs> mm. I think everyone can relate to the feeling of being stuck um I think that especially after the few years we've had I think everyone can relate to the feeling of being stuck um and really stranded in some way but luckily enough for me I think that you know, I have never felt trapped in my career. Um, I feel like my career is what has given me a lot of liberation. And so I would say that in many ways, I feel the opposite from my work. So speaking about your career, a lot of actors have been in this industry for a long, long time and have yet uh, received a lead role in a feature. With this being your first, uh, first leading role in a feature film, how does it, how does it feel to be at this point in your career? It feels absolutely nuts. <laughs> um, I think about that all the time of just like how I ended up getting here. I don't even know. I'm still, I think, in the moment of processing it all because so much of my career has happened during the pandemic. My first film shot and um, like maybe two months after I got home from shooting, everything went into lockdown. And so... For me, a lot of this process has been very detached. You know, I'm not seeing people watch my films. I'm not seeing, um, you know, people interact with them. Even today feels like, you know, the beginning of understanding this is actually happening to me. So um, I feel I feel just grateful more than anything else, just like swathed in a lot of gratitude about it and um, curious really about what this can bring me because I never aspired to be an actor either. And I think that... Uh, um, this career feels more like it chose me than I chose it. And now, now I meant like it was unrequited for a second and now I'm like totally obsessed. And so I'm just curious where it will go from here. Wish you the best in your future. I'm sure we're going to see a lot more of you. And uh, thank you for your time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs>